going on there folks good morning it's the earth master here on this finally friday woohoo uh, july 29 2022 date it's about 10 8 a.m california time can't believe it I've got august coming up here in a couple days latest quake shows a 3.0 earthquake here into the indonesia islands area we're definitely seeing a ramping up of earthquake activity all throughout the northwestern portion of the Pacific Plate down into portions of the uh, Mariana Trench as well. Let's go ahead and check out this latest activity here from the USGS map. I'm sure you guys noted here just a little bit ago on the live stream a little signature showing up on the Japan station. That's around the uh, Coral Islands, a 5.2 striking there into this area. Uh, not a large quake, but we are seeing a little bit of uptick in movement along this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire. And uh, we definitely seen a lot of activity yesterday here, south of Tokyo, south of the Japan Trench here, along this little area here. It's also another significant trench. Uh, at least quite a few fours and a couple fives in there as well. Um, might be an area to watch pretty closely, considering we've seen that large-scale activity yes or a couple days ago, the seven-pointer out in the uh, the uh, Philippines area. Definitely, I think it's made a little bit of adjustment here uh, as we're starting to notice, starting to see some uh, release of earthquake or release of pressure up here from these earthquakes. Um, let's see, down south, a little bit of movement. The one that we noted there on the globe, a 4.9 in the Indonesia area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a drink here of my... I'm going to have soda first thing in the morning. That's probably not good. Well, not first thing in the morning, but before noontime, right? Uh, some movement here also around the Java Sea. Looking at the big picture though today, it looks like a lot of movement uh, about ready. I think really honestly about ready to take place along this re uh, region there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, up in around the Mongolia area, seen a 5.6 just a short time ago as well around the uh, Russia and Mongolian border. Uh, not a whole lot going on further west here throughout the Middle East or the Mediterranean. A uh, little earthquake activity in, in uh, India and also out there around the uh, Myanmar area. Seen a couple fours kicking off there overnight. Uh, we did have one earthquake here late last night uh, in the, uh, out in the Indian Ocean around the mid-Indian Ridge. A little fracture zone out here, divergent boundary. Kind of see the, uh, the marks it leaves out there in the uh, ocean floor pretty cool looking uh nothing going on throughout the fiji islands area although if we continue to see things ramp up here along the northwestern portion of the pacific plate things uh, should start to pick up pretty uh nicely here within this region it's been somewhat off and on over the past few days uh, latest quake shows a 4.4 at uh, about 567 kilometers again that was from yesterday late afternoon time frame south america <clears throat> getting in on a little bit of activity it looks like <clears throat> excuse me i got it so cold in here it's kind of messing with my voice um it's supposed to be 108 today literally here in the computer room it's 57 degrees <laughs> 57 that's right i said 57 so it's cold in here Whew, but it's all good uh it'll stay cooler throughout the day like this uh, movement throughout the Prue-Chile Trench as well. Uh, looks like both of these here from yesterday. One, <clears throat> looks like one earthquake this morning, a 4.5. Some deeper movement into the Prue-Chile Trench earlier this morning time frame. All right, let's look at the West Coast area. Looking at a uh, little activity outside of the Chester area, it looks like. Well, well south of Chester, 2.5 near Little Grass Valley. Up in the mountains here, Sierra Nevada's. Uh, at about seven kilometers not that big of a deal doesn't look like anything major going on throughout northern california uh, or california in general uh, ridgecrest area seen some activity but again this is all very typical movement along a major plate boundary such as the california area uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the southern california area either uh, this earthquake here in the salton sea region was from last night uh, aside from that, yeah, look at that. Looks uh, somewhat quiet across the west coast. 
up into the Washington area, starting to know some movement around the volcanoes. Mount St. Helens showing a little bit of microquake activity. Uh, and also outside of Mount Rainier, where they've seen a 2.3 at 11 kilometers. Looks like that was a couple miles from the summit of Mount Rainier. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the seismograph stations here real quick and see if we can find those uh, earthquakes. Trimmer map, by the way, last night, only 27 epicenters of Trimmer all day yesterday. Not that big of a deal. Mount Rainier. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and see if we can find uh, this earthquake that kind of struck down here. Maybe this one will work. It's kind of closer to the uh, epicenter where that small quake struck. Sometimes these work, sometimes they don't. And let's see, is that going to be the one? I guess we should check real quick on the timestamp, see what we got. Let's see which one this is here, Mount Rainier. It was a 2.3 at 2239 UTC time. So that was actually yesterday, uh, 2239. And that would be back on the previous day. 22.39 UTC time. Right there, see? That's what earthquakes are supposed to look like. Not these little squiggly lines that are just kind of odd looking. Right? We know this is a well-defined earthquake. So that's the two-pointer. The 2.3 showing up there around Mount Rainier. So I like it when they show up pretty nicely like that. They, I can give a little bit better description of what we're looking for when it comes to uh, looking at the live data, recorded data. These irregular type events, see this is actually the same as this. This could be equipment turning on nearby, running for a couple minutes and then shutting off. Uh, sometimes wind events and uh, thunderstorms roll through and create uh, signatures on seismographs. But this here, these two are identical. Makes me think that um, it's something local, maybe something turning on or uh, has something to do with the network. Either way, not earthquake activity. This here is earthquake activity. And there's not a whole lot. Uh, just that one earthquake around Mount Rainier. See what we got for uh, Mount Shasta or uh, Mount St. Helens area. I'll check this out here real quick. A little activity, right? They're putting a few more quakes up here on the map. For the longest time, they weren't putting anything up and we'd see uh, quite a few quakes showing up on the, on the seismographs with no no uh, issue from the PNSN network. A couple earthquakes here. You guys see that? Very similar to what we've seen on the uh, Mount Rainier station, although a little bit smaller. Some smaller magnitude quakes throughout the uh, the morning time. They're at Mount St. Helens yesterday and overnight. About the same deal. Some very small microquake activity there at Mount St. Helens. This has been ongoing for quite a while, and I believe it's got to do with subsidence of the volcano itself we've checked out the gps stations here uh, throughout the region and mount st helens this one's a little choppy right now and i'm not, not for sure what's going on here it shouldn't be choppy that's one thing i can't handle is a choppy computer uh, so let's check out the uh, gps stations here real quick and see what we got there's a couple of them in there See if this one's going to work. 2022. There we go. Uh, and as you can see here on this map right here, a gradual decline of vertical displacement there at Mount St. Helens. And when this happens, um, yeah, the earthquakes do happen. Little microquakes happen. Uh, and same for if this was inflation. If we were seeing an uptrend of this graph, which we're not, uh, then we could uh, actually probably contribute that to uh, magma underneath the ground filling in. Um, you know, possibly getting ready for an eruption, but we're not. We're looking at a continual downtrend even into 2022. So it goes through these little phases here, uh, and, and we're still continuing to go down. So no signs of any trouble there at Mount St. Helens, but again, that's, you know, all subject to change. Seems like stuff like that can change in the blink of an eye. Earthquakes Canada map, little activity here along the eastern portion. Uh, had some activity uh, overnight. Uh, 3.1 in this area looks like a little smaller quake underneath there as well Let's see if I can get that maybe not yeah hard to hard to really tell here 
Maybe it's just one earthquake. Maybe it's just a 3.1 in this area. Looks like it is out in the water here in the uh, this area right here. It's a little bit too early to pronounce that. But uh, aside from that, um, wow, things not really too active across the board here in Canada. But uh, yeah, looking a little active over here towards the east today. We'll keep an eye on that. Yellowstone National Park. We'll go ahead and pull this up, make sure I got the latest data. Um, what do we got here? Here's a little bit of activity. Well, I'm trying to see here. Looks like there was some earthquake activity over here along the eastern portion of the park again. Notice here in the Parker Peak area, little activity peaking here. Um, that activity is more noticeable on these eastern graphs than it is over here around Maple Creek. I do see it right there, but not as strong. Uh, so obviously this activity is occurring further to the east. Now this activity here looks independent uh, and it looks localized to the region. These are not the, the same. These are a little bit different timestamps than uh, the activity over here. So uh, not for sure what that is. It looks localized because I'm not seeing this activity showing up on any of the seismograph stations at all. Again, this this signature is from the eastern uh, portion of the park showing a little bit of seismic activity but uh, again not not for sure exactly where it's at but it's somewhere over around this region here and I, I don't believe USGS is showing anything for that uh, area looks like it was a 0.8 earlier this morning but uh, not showing the activity that's occurring within this region here but overall uh, pretty low levels of activity at the uh, super volcano there in Wyoming, Long Valley, or uh, not Long Valley, but uh, Yellowstone National Park, Long Valley, uh, it's gone pretty quiet. We only got uh, one earthquake out here, 1.8. No major swarms to report ac across the west coast. Eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet as well, folks. So uh, I think a big deal right now, we're on that teeter-totter effect. We need to watch the uh, western portions here of the Pacific Plate and uh, could see some further activity building around the Philippines area. I know aftershocks can continue for months uh, following a large quake. So just a heads up there, we could be looking at some further uh, aftershock sequences in that region. Uh, let's see if we got anything kick, uh, kicking up on the solar weather department. Uh, things look pretty clear, pretty calm, pretty green. Not a whole lot going on, folks. Got some coronal hole activity down south here in the southern hemisphere. One little one, this one's facing away from us. And one up to the north. Solar flare threat remains very low as these sunspots don't pose any type of hazard uh, for any any type of flaring, I think. Uh, at least for the next couple days. And coming around the bend, there's, unfortunately, I don't see a whole lot. Uh, not a whole lot of new developments either over here along the eastern limb, so... A quiet spell of solar activity, folks, continues. We'll see how long that lasts. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm literally freezing. It dropped down to 50, yeah, it's 56 degrees in here. And uh, I'm going to go warm up uh, in a different room. So have a good day, folks. I'll chat at you guys a little bit later. And, um, yeah, all right, peace out, everyone. Have a good day.